Hi, I'm Dr. Paul Lynch. I'm going to walk you through a percutaneous discectomy procedure, and we are using a cadaver body today, um, so we won't be using all the same sterile techniques that you'd normally see, but I'm going to walk you through the procedure. I'm going to start off by explaining it on a spine model. Where what we're going to do in this procedure is we're going to make a small incision with a scalpel and then place a percutaneous trocar into the disc and decompress uh, disc material from the disc. This procedure only takes out one to three cc's of disc material, but that's usually enough to decompress the nerve root at the associated level. We typically do this for patients who have a six to 10 millimeter herniation pushing on a nerve root with ridiculous symptoms in that distribution. We usually do a diagnostic nerve block first called a selective nerve root block. And if that takes away at least 50% of the patient's pain, then we know that this procedure has the ability to give them uh, success. I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through the procedure. We do this with x-ray guidance. Um, this is a AP projection of the lumbar spine. And what you see here is the L4 vertebral body and the L5 vertebral body. I'm gonna do this procedure at the L4-5 level. We go a little bit more. This is the perfect angle. I'll place my needle just lateral to the superior articular process at the L4-5 disc. By obliquing this far where the superior articular process bisects the vertebral uh, body above, the nerve root is out of play, meaning there's less risk of injury to the nerve. Shot. 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 And shot. That's about the perfect place to put the needle. And go ahead and show the needle. I'll make a small incision with a scalpel and then place my needle through the scalpel incision. Shock. 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 And you can go ahead and show the screen there as well. You can see the needle going directly towards where we were aiming. And now I can feel the needle going into the disc. At that point, I take a per, uh, another x-ray shot in a lateral projection. I now take the striker decompressor wand, and I place it through the needle. And in a suctioning type action, it will remove this material in a spinning motion. And then what happens is I will pass back and forth as I go live. Go live. I'm watching with x-ray guidance as I go back and forth inside the disc to take out the material. I'll go ahead and show the screen here. You can see my needle advancing and withdrawing as I make multiple passes through the disc. 